remember having dances in our church hall. We could never go out to a place like this. This was unheard of. Any social event was held in the parish hall, and that was it. And you dressed in your Sunday best to go. But those are the memories that you'll hold dear. So I'm so happy that all of you have brought your children and your families so that we can all celebrate together and be one, united in God and united as a community. With that being said, I'd like to now introduce, uh, I would say he's an honorary member of our community now because he comes quite often to uh, help us with different things and he's very, very uh, active in our March 25th celebration and he always makes sure that Newport does gets represented and he does such a great job with that. So I think he is an honorary Newport <laughs> St. Spirit on member. Ladies and gentlemen, another state senator from District 33, Senator Lou Reptakis. Thank you, Governor. Welcome, welcome, Governor. And this is Dan McKee, the Council General, his wife, my colleague in government, Senator Dawn Ware, uh, Captain Michael Tarasquevobos, who is here attending the Naval War College, part of the Greek Navy. And ladies and gentlemen, I just want to thank personally the Governor who's been part of our community throughout Rhode Island, whether it's here in Newport, Cranston, Pawtucket. Before he even became Lieutenant Governor, he was a friend and a supporter of our community, and he has not missed, I believe, when he was Lieutenant Governor and Governor every single year attending our celebration commemorating Greek Independence Day, which I think is very, very important. Also, the governor being our leader in the state, working with our congressional delegation, especially what is happening today. Back in Greece, the threats from neighbor Turkey, which is unacceptable. I know this week that the uh, uh, Senator Menendez has been tough on selling any type of weapons, F-16s, to Turkey. But I want to thank our governor and our congressional delegation for working very, very hard. Real quickly, ladies and gentlemen, this year, March 21st, we'll be celebrating Greek Independence Day at the State House. We also were informed this morning that our governor, the governor of Rhode Island, will be meeting the governor of Rhodes Island. The governor will be coming here to sign some agreements and also to meet our Rhode Island community, which I think is very, very important. And I know you've met the Council General uh, tonight, he's been here four times, and I told the Council General, I think we're going to move the consulate from Boston to Providence, or maybe even Newport, Rhode Island, because he's been such a, a supporter, short time that he's been here. But let me show you again, it's an honor being here, celebrating our heritage, not forgetting our, our, our Greek language, our religion, our ethnic roots. And, and thank you very much, especially we'll see that this evening with this, with the young generation uh, from Connecticut, our own from Cranston. Thank you again, Elaine. Thank you very much. I know the show is about to begin, but. Um, Thank you for the uh, invitation to be here again, and as the Senator Packett says, we always answer the call, especially when it's the Greek community, and uh, Senator Takis, along with his wife Donna, are just amazing supporters of this community, and of course, uh, Don Oya, Senator Oya, being here representing Newport. But I would just say, and, and the Council General, I can find a, 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 you know, a, a second office for you if you like, be happy to open it up right, right around the State House. Be happy to have you in uh, and uh, make sure that we're connected because that's what we want to do with each and every community in the state of Rhode Island. Rhode Island is a special place because of the Greek community and it's a special place because we have so many communities in our state that represent uh, nations around the world. And so to be able to connect in uh, with, the, with Greece and the Greek community and the leadership uh, it is really instrumental for the future of the state of Rhode Island. So I thank everybody for being here tonight, and let the show begin. Looking forward to seeing the music and all the dancers. Thank you so much. But as the governor said, he's here in Newport quite often. Please welcome Council Simeon Teos.
Καλησπέρα. 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 Okay. It's another privilege to be with you tonight. Uh, Governor, I'm going to take up I'm gonna take up from your offer. Be careful with the Greeks. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> we arrived here with my family a few months ago in Boston. And indeed, that, was, that is my fourth time here in, in beautiful Rhode Island. Um, I cannot start describing how honored and how humbled we are by all of you. I'm going to tell you why. Government, when you hear the Greek word glendi, celebration, we, we Greeks mean it. That means that we don't mess around. <laughs> we really mean business. You're going to see in a few moments what I mean. And you know why? Because we know pain. We know loss. We know what it means to start all over again with nothing. All these people here that you see represent my country much better than I could ever possibly. You know why? Because 50, 40, 100 years ago, they started here, ancestors, with nothing. Look at them now. I cannot be more proud of this people. That's why I work all this time. We need to remember where we're coming from. And uh, that's why I'm always humbled and honored to remind all of them that the mother country where we come from has the biggest respect of this people. We cannot be more proud of them. So thank you so much for the invitation, Elaine. Um, you know, um, it's a very big word for us. Again, so thank you so much for uh, the invitation. Thank you so much for uh, giving us this opportunity. Believe me, you're going to see more than you want from me. <laughs> uh, there are things that are happening right now. Um, Senator, uh, you know how much uh, we're already... I, I've met Senator Raptakis in Thrace, actually, one year ago in Alexandropolis. So he's very active. And I'm, uh, I'm very happy to meet him at uh, these altitudes. So after crossing all those uh, oceans of time, all those oceans of pain, we are here tonight to celebrate. Again, let the glady begin. Thank you so much for uh, having us tonight. See you soon at the floor.